Alright, Happy New Year's folks! This is T Dino bringing you a Sword Art Online figure review today. The first figure that I'm reviewing on the first day of the new year is Shinon from Sword Art Online, uh, the second season of course, this is why there's a two there. And this is the 1-8 scale figure by Kota Wukia, as you saw in my, you know, video haul with Mr. Donkey Blonky. Y'all shots for him, again, for LB in Maryland. And, you know, coming and chilling with me and Tyra just, so it's fun hanging out with them. And, uh, yeah, let's get this on the road. So, if you've watched the other video, um, there was a comment that Donkey Blonky made uh, saying that there were a few people who are disappointed in this figure because uh, of the uh, hair and whatnot, like the quality of the hair and, you know, the finish of the uh, figure wasn't great and whatnot, but, um, so far from what I see from my figure, it's okay. It doesn't look that bad. So, uh, let me zoom in real quick. And as you can see, it doesn't look that bad. It looks fresh as hell. Look at that. Ah, oh, she's on. God, look, look at that shot. That shot is so fresh and clean. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's uh, continue on with the review, my friends. Now, this is the front side of the box. Of course, there's the uh, sticker of authenticity on the top right. And then move down a bit more. And as you can see from the front window, there is her uh, weapon, um, which I do not remember the name of. And there are also some accessories, I believe. Um, maybe? No? Well, I see so far it's just her gun, so uh, I don't see any uh, other accessories that come with the uh, figure. So that's the front box. Very nice preview of uh, Machine On. And, uh,. It has a very really, uh, simple, simple color theme. It's nothing that special or anything like that. As you can see, there's some sort of pixelation right here. And so it's kind of like a reference to the video game world and whatnot. And oh, yo, pretty much that's it. Nothing special about the front box. You know, basic Kotobukiya figure box and color theme. Start on too. All right, let's head to the right side. Now, the right side is a bit different. Um, Focus, here you go. Sort of online, too. There's like a little special effect going on in the background with a bullet hole right here. Uh, Shinon Phantom Bullet version that is the name of the figure. And you can see it's a completely different color theme on the right side. Uh, it looks really, you know, really fitted to uh, Shinon. So, good color theme here. Good color theme here. Um, that's a nice quad shot they got going on right here. Let me point right there, real quick. Look at that. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. And I think, you know, I did not notice this detail, but this was an effect that I did not realize was a part of the uh, figure. As you can see, she is dispensing the round, the empty round, and it's that little smoke effect that follows the round, which is actually pretty cash. Like, uh, I didn't even notice it <laughs> when I uh, pre ordered this figure, so that's a good effect. I'm looking forward to seeing it in person. Alright, simple, simple. Now let's head to the uh, back side, of course. Let's see the back. Of course, sort of online, you know, Phantom Bullets. One A scale pre paint figure. I like the pose, the pose is pretty badass. As you can see, there's a few for the back. Um, she's She has her sidearm in the back, uh, which is pretty much a Glock or semi-auto pistol. Or something, like, I think it's a semi-auto pistol, yeah, or it was a burst fire type of pistol, don't remember, but. Uh, Something along those lines. It looks like a Glock, to be honest, but, uh, yeah. And the base is pretty much, uh, just pillars of rocks. Nothing that interesting. But, it fits the scheme, though. It fits her overall theme. So, this is the back of the box. Let me zoom up a bit more so you can see the entire box. Here you go. Alright, Kotobukiya. Alright, now let's flip to the other side. Let me rotate to the last side right here. Of course, there's another preview window, so you can see Shinon from the side. Uh, here's another preview of Miss Shinon in her glorious pose. Nice, nice, nice. Simple color theme, standard the color theme for the front box. And let me show you guys the top real quick. So, bear with me for a bit. Right here's the top. As you can see, it looks pretty nice. Pretty, it looks like the logo from the ending of the game. You know, when it says, I'm in the game, the, uh, the anime. When the uh, ending thing is about to pop up, and then this little logo pops up, it's at the power button, pretty much. All right, nice little preview from uh, 
the top of uh, Shinon. So, all right, let me set this thing up. All right, now that is the entire box of Miss Shinon from Kotobukiya. I will open her up now, and I'm gonna show you guys what she looks like. All right, everyone, here is Shinon outside of her box, and I must say she is very, very impressive, very glorious. I. I'm staring at a piece of art right now, and I'm definitely pleased with my purchase. However, there are some flaws that I will address along this review. So, let's just head straight into the review. Now, as you can see, there is a close-up of the machine on. I'm going to zoom in a bit more so you can see. Um, you know, starting from the beginning of this frame, you can see that there's a chip, like, on the front bang of her hair. And it wasn't my fault, of course. It, it came exactly like this in the box. That's why when I was talking to Don Bonky, but I was like, oh, she seems to look off. Her hair seems to look off. He was like, no, no, it's okay. But if you look close enough, there is a small chip on her bang. Now I understand why people are actually complaining about it. Um, in these cases like this, it's really out of our control. We can't really do anything about it. It's just you either get lucky or you don't get lucky um, because. She, the figure before Shinon, uh, not Ju not Jubilee, but Sh uh, Shido from No Game No Life actually had, you know, the same problems. Her hair was a little bit chipped, they looked kind of different, color wasn't right, blah 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 blah. So Kotobukiya has to like step up their game when it comes to hair. It's mostly problems with the hair, everything else is fine. It's just in the hair department that they're messing up with. So hopefully you guys get a lucky batch. So yeah, let's continue on this review, shall we? Uh, as you can see, it looks like Shannon, uh, pretty face, you know, expressionless. Blue eyes, blue eyebrows, you know, wearing a mask, hair clippings, and, and, and hair accessories that I don't know how to name. <laughs> and yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much Shannon. Yeah, that's Shannon, alright? Alright, now let's zoom out a bit so you can see the scarves. Here you go. Now the purpose of the scars is to make her like even more of a badass. She, you know, the scars are flowing in the wind. She's uh, sitting on Con Creek, and you know she's reloading her weapon. She's getting ready to snipe some more people. She's she's ready to kill more people. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's actually a pretty badass pose. <laughs> it fits with the theme very well. All right, now let's move on to the next piece that I'm going to talk about, which is the gun. Um, I'm going to tell you how to put it into her hands. So what you basically do is you remove her two hands from her arms. Yes, they are removable. You pretty much place, try to place it into her hands, and then you uh, pretty much put it back into her arms. That's that's about it. Uh, I can't really show it because it's gonna take a while, and of course there's a time limit to this video. Uh, however, there is instructions in the box, so I'm sure if you read them, you might get the idea of how to put it. It's really easy. It's nothing like wires or anything like that. It's very easy and simple. So, yeah. So another note about this gun is that there is a special bullet casing that pops out the uh, the um, the storage area. The uh, I forgot what it's called, but it's the storage area and the effects that comes out of the of, of, of the hole where the rounds from. It's pretty amazing. I actually didn't notice this detail until I actually opened the box. I was like, whoa. <laughs> so yeah, I actually pre-ordered a figure where I didn't know a, sp a specific special effect that's going to be a part of the figure. Uh, typical t dino right? <laughs> I don't know what shit. <laughs> Alright, let's just continue on this figure review. Um, very simple attire. It's pretty much her attire from the, for the Sword Art Online series. It's the overall green attire when she meets Kirito in her Gun Gal Online arc and all that jazz. So, no, it's not a really etchy attire. It's, there's, basic gaming attire for her avatar, her sniper attire. And as you can see, the base is just a bunch of uh, concrete rocks and yeah, it's nothing that special. She doesn't detach from it, so just a heads up, she's already installed when you actually get out, get her out the box. So you don't have to worry about installing or anything like that. There's no holes or no joints or anything like that. She's already installed to the base. All right, now I'm gonna show you some glorious angles and whatnot. So I'm gonna ignore the world scroll. Let's let's begin this, shall we? So here's the front side. Hmm, it looks really nice. Oh, no crotch shot. <laughs> Zoom on a bit so you can see. All right. 
right. Let's see. Shoes, closed top shoes. Now let's turn to her left side, which is this side right here. Like I said earlier, the scarf makes it look even more badass. And there's her gun. Uh, let me let me look at the gun real quick. There's the barrel with the gun right there. As you can see, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. All right, and here's the red sheen on. Very simple, nothing that special. Of course, you see some skin right there, but like I, like I said, it's nothing that cheap about it. It's safe for work. All right, very simple, very simple. Now let's head to the back, which of course also looks great, just by itself. Uh, the hair, of course, is you know it looks good for detail, but like I said, there's some bad parts to it. So let me talk about the back for a bit. Um, of course, it comes with her side pistol, which is her Glock. Uh, it, it shoots burst fire, it also shoots semi-auto and whatnot, if I remembered correctly. And you can't really remove it or anything like that, at least I didn't try to. But you can clip the uh, little thing right here back into her holster, so I'm not going to try it right now because I tried it before and it didn't work. So, yep. Next to the holster is a pouch where she carries her grenades, ammunition, whatever the hell she has to bring with her. So, yeah, it's a pretty nice little detail that uh, Kotobukiya did to Shinon. Alright, now, let's head to the final side. Here's the final side. Let me focus. Alright. Now, this, this, this angle looks badass right here. It looks really badass. Holy crap. <laughs> And yeah, I have nothing else to say. Pretty, pretty standard figure. Pretty standard angle. And yeah. All right. Now let me set Miss Shinon up to a good angle, and then zoom in. All right. Okay. So overall thoughts of this figure. Very good figure for any Shinon fans. Uh, if you want to start a sort of online figure collection, I recommend you pick this up. You know, even though there's a slight flaw to her hair, it is still a good figure. You know, don't let it bother you that much. It's not that much of a problem, you know. Um, she look great in your display case. I mean, it's not that noticeable from afar, so, you know, you're still good. And, yeah, if you're a Shinon fan, you need to pick up this damn figure because it's the best one out so far until that really expensive one comes out. <laughs> I don't remember who it was by, but it's like 100-something bucks, so be on the lookout for that. Alright, thanks for watching the video on, uh, like my video please, let me know what you think, comments, let me know if you're getting her, and subscribe to my channel please. Thank you for watching, sayonara, and happy new years.